Hello everyone, this is Ryan Sieber coming to you live from Qubit Network's worldwide headquarters here in lovely LaPorte, Indiana for this month's episode of Tech Talks. Um, today we're going to talk about a super duper exciting topic named EEPS. And so everyone maybe asked themselves, what is EEPS? Well, I have the answer right here. So EEPS stands for Ethernet Automatic Protection Switching. It is a proprietary protocol developed by Extreme Networks to provide redundancy and high availability in an Ethernet ring topology. It's been around since around October of 2003. So I'm happy to have Joel Trumbull here with me today. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. So Joel is a, a senior network engineer for uh, Qubit, and uh, Joel spends a lot of time working around um, EAPS and uh, just you know and networking in general. But uh, um, so Joel, tell us a little bit about EAPS. Yeah, like you said, it's a uh, Ethernet uh, ring protocol. Um, it provides redundancy and um, uh, high availability for Ethernet uh, ring topologies. So. Um, just real quickly, a couple of uh, unique features to, to EAPS. Uh, it's very simple to configure, um, provides very fast uh, sub 50 millisecond failover times. Um, uh, it's available on extreme networks platforms. And uh, uh, one of the things I wanna stress about EAPS is that it is a layer two uh, protocol, which it's, it's Mac based, so um, it, it's uh, very scalable. Uh, it can ride uh, basically any other protocols can ride on top of EAPS. EAPS. Right. So that's that's been something that you know, I'm not as as in the weeds technically as you are, but I know that that's one thing that I sit and talk to customers about that they really like is that everything can kind of ride on top of it. Right. Um, and I know that the, the big thing that uh, the customers like uh, is the, the the speed of the failover. Right. So we have. Uh, you know, we have a customer that operates a, a road yep. uh, in northern Indiana, and um, they have a board on the sc on the screen with a bunch of cameras, uh, you know, on the uh, on the road. And they've had right. occasions where one leg of the ring goes down. And what's been the implication on? Yeah, there's been an occasional, you know, a fiber will will break, uh, but they see no loss in connectivity. Uh, most times, they don't even see the the picture freeze on the camera, it's that fast, or they won't drop phone calls. So it's, it's literally that, right. that quick. And there's been times even when um, we've been installing some new equipment where we're able to take one, one leg down and they don't even know, I mean, not necessarily for these guys, but for some other customers that we've been able to, to take one leg down and there's no interruption of service to anybody. Well, being, being the engineer, that's one of the things I love about it. <laughs> right. we, we can work on gear and not, you know, nothing has to go down because you know, obviously right. it's got to stay up. And I know that one of our uh, customers is a, is a county that operates a microwave ring and they, they actually displaced uh, one of Extreme's competitors with Extreme strictly for the EAPS, for the ability to, um, for the failover. And one of the things we learned in that was that you could actually tweak a couple of the settings there on, on, on looking for uh, delays and outages and such. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, that particular customer um, uh, utilized a microwave antenna environment, and yeah, there were tweaks in the protocol that we could um, basically uh, custom set up for that customer that um, uh, was unique to their environment, but yeah, made the failover uh, right. flawless. Yeah, it's been it's been really good. So. Um, I don't know, uh, a couple things that, you know, we, we kind of noted here, you know, it's commonly used in Metro Ethernet environments. Uh, so we've, we've deployed it for a couple of our manufacturing customers right. um, to protect against, you know, outages on the, on the shop floor when their fibers in a, in a ring topology. We've done it for um, some cities and communities and counties. Uh, we've done it for some uh, folks that operate roads. Um, and just, you know, but it's really good for anybody that's operating in a ring because a lot of times rings on network, right, is, right. is a bad thing. It, absolutely. And that, so that's the thing. Uh, everybody's been kind of programmed. You hear a ring or a loop, that's a bad thing. But in, in this case, it's a, it can be, become a very good right. thing. And uh, the ring topology, so, I mean, cost effectiveness. Uh, so you're talking about uh, uh, putting that inside. So, say, a large building. Yeah. 
fiber to each one of the clauses, let's say. That's cheaper than doing a start topology. Right. Um, becomes even more so when you get into Metro E. Yep, documents. exactly. So, well, if anybody ever has any questions on EAPS, you can certainly contact us and we would be happy to, uh, you know, expand more on it. I know Absolutely. it's a real exciting topic. We'll probably be having the phones <laughs> ring off the hook. Right. Um, but, uh, and I think this is going to come out uh, the day after Christmas, right? So we want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. You can probably see this the day after Christmas, so hope you, you had a good Christmas. And uh, certainly, you know, as we look at kind of the end of the year and, and, and we start to think about like the year past and the year you know, moving forward, uh, we're very thankful for, uh, for our customers um, um, this past year. Looking forward to an exciting 2020. So thank you.